Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. I want to start up at Arapahoe Basin where uh, you can see just a little bit of white right there on the ground. They were testing some of the snow guns up there yesterday, but I mean, looking at the extended forecast, it's just way too warm to continue that. But I think down the road, there are some promising signs for some cooler air, maybe a storm system. And we'll look at that in this update uh, coming up here in just a few minutes. I want to show you the water vapor satellite imagery this morning, uh, give you the lay of the land. So on this, the drier air is in the reds, the orange colors aloft, and you're looking at the moisture and the whites and the blues aloft. And here's our storm track. You can kind of see it like this. Everything's being escorted up into Canada right now. But eventually, this flow becomes a little bit more active and some kinks start to move through the lower 48. But that's probably seven days away. Until that happens, it's going to be warm and it's going to be dry across the Intermountain West. All right, here are my bullet points for this morning's update. So storm track continues to favor BC and Canada for the most part um, with warm, dry conditions, abnormally warm and dry for most of the Intermountain West. So that's California, Nevada, that's Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, Colorado, New Mexico. But then between potentially 10, 17 and 10, 18, we may have a storm system that actually survives the trip um, from the West Coast into the interior. So I'll show you what that could look like coming up here in just a few minutes. All right, let me just show you what the atmosphere looks like. So in Colorado, this is Lizard Head Pass down in Southwest Colorado. And this is relative humidity um, through the atmosphere all the way up from the ground up to basically the jet stream. Um, and you read this from right to left, so it's just the opposite of what you would expect. And this goes out about 70, about 70 to 80 hours, roughly. Um, so the drier air on this is your yellows and your oranges. There's a lot of dry air over Lizard Head, but there's little pockets of green here and there. A little bit of humidity from time to time, but nothing gigantic, nothing significant. This just represents a pretty warm, dry pattern. Now, like I said, down the road, about eight, nine, 10 days from now, we may have a storm system that comes in and this would look a whole lot different. Until we get to that point though, this is Berthoud Pass, 10 to 15 day temperature forecast. You can see initially the temperatures, the high temps are very warm into the middle 50s during the day. The red line is your normal or your average high and all those days are above that. Now, by the time we get to maybe day eight, nine, 10, the temperatures start to slip and they start to cool. And that's the case all the way through probably day 15. And, and you look at that and you think, okay, highs in the 50s, way too warm to be making snow at, at many of these places, Loveland, A Basin. But by the time we get to 10 to 15 days out, it's more of a possibility with 20s at night and 40s by day. So that's why I'm saying I think there's some light at the end of the tunnel potentially for places like Arapahoe Basin, Loveland, if they want to make snow down the road. Um, so, okay, also I want to take a look at the smoke forecast because with high pressure for probably the next you know seven days this is your smoke forecast vertically integrated smoke through all the layers of the atmosphere so smoke coming through parts of colorado out of utah out of wyoming you can see this the fires and then eventually the flow kind of shifts watch it so here's 24 hours into the future here is 36 hours into the future and that's 48 hours. So by 48 hours, things start to shift. The smoke starts to go in a little different direction, but it's coming out of Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Oregon, all of those places. There's just a lot of smoke um, during this time period. Okay, let me go back and I wanna show you the jet stream forecast. So by close of business today, you can see the flow. Again, favoring uh, Canada and BC. That's what's routing, that's the storm track. Um, Okay, push this into the future. There's 1010, 1011, 1012. Little kinks in the flow for the Intermountain, but it's still warm and dry. Uh, now here's 1015, 1016. Now watch what happens. Larger dip in the jet comes through uh, California, Nevada, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico. And there's even a low pressure in that dip in the jet. That would represent that pattern, a little bit of a pattern kink or pattern change or ripple in the flow. Um, so that's the jet stream forecast. Let me show you the forecast radar and satellite. So this is by 5.30 this afternoon. All the actions up in the BC, you can see the blues, the greens up there. Okay, by tomorrow, Thursday morning, there's Thursday afternoon, warm and dry, Intermountain West, some cloud cover from time to time, um, little kink slides through California, there's 10.13. Here's Monday the 14th, still warm and dry, 
Now, we're going to watch for the storm system. Here it comes, 1016, 1017, 1018. There it is, sliding through the Intermountain West. Now, that's the most precip I've shown on an update on this for the Intermountain West, I think, this fall. I mean, that's a that's a that's probably the last 10 days, I should say. So probably the last 10 days, this is the most precip. Um, and, and you can see it. I mean, there's a little bit of blue there for parts of the Tetons, the Yellowstone, uh, maybe a little bit in the High Uintas, maybe a little bit in Colorado. Here's how that looks as far as a snow forecast goes. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's a little bit, like I said, it's the most I've shown in at least the last 10 days. Most of the accumulations up in BC, but at the end of the period, 1017, 1018, we might have light accumulations up there in parts of Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, maybe in parts of the higher elevations of Utah, and potentially some in southwest Colorado. You know, I showed you that, that forecast for Lizardhead for the next three days. There's nothing much, but by the time we get to this period, 1017, 1018, we might have a storm rolling through. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this morning mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Take care and have a great day.